is everybody doing this fine day? I am doing pretty good. I just entered North Dakota here a little bit ago. I guess 17 miles back I entered uh, North Dakota. And uh, I would have started the show right away this morning, but uh, my remote was dead. <laughs> so I couldn't, I had to charge it up first. And I knew it was dead yesterday evening already, I just forgot to plug it in. And I don't do any uh, video recording when my remote is not working because I don't want to touch the cameras, you know. I want to be out here safe on the road and uh, I got the uh, GoPro remote, you know. So that way I just need to press the button and that's it. And keep my hands on the wheel, you know. Trying to do this as safely as possible. And the remote works with both of the cameras at the same time. So that's always a bonus. That's one good thing that GoPro has designed. So, that's the way we do it. We try and be safe out here. I know a uh, long time ago already, one uh, guy wrote me on Facebook. He sent me a private message there uh, saying that he didn't think it was safe what I was doing and all this and that. Well, there you have it. I use a remote. I do not touch my cameras when I'm driving. Yep. Anyways, it is a gorgeous day out here again today. It got a little bit foggy there, a couple of patches there, but it was just a couple of patches and it was done. As you can see, it's just basically uh, straight land up here in North Dakota. Basically farmers and that's it. Yeah, well, we got about uh, maybe 40 miles to Fargo. And now we'll be uh, stopping in Fargo there. We'll go to uh, Thermo King and see if they're open. My wife looked it up on the internet yesterday and she said they're open at 8 o'clock. So hopefully they will be open at 8. That would be very nice. That way I can uh, pick up the uh, fuel filter and oil filter and air filter for the APU unit. And I'm going to get it... Uh, service that my mechanic in Steinbach I asked him to do a full service on it change the oil and all that stuff on it so yeah no problem so we'll get that done and then uh, we'll be back in business again I think it's starving on air a little bit there uh, last couple of days I was having problems with it uh, almost seemed like it didn't have enough power to uh, turn my AC there so figured well it's time to do a service on it but that's the way it goes you know to service them otherwise they won't last right the same thing with the truck I'm gonna get an oil change done here now too when I get back home and full service because it's due it's due and I use full synthetic oil for my big engine, for the truck engine as well, as same thing as the, uh, the APU unit. I use the uh, 10W30 on the APU unit and we use the uh, Shell Rotella T6 5W40 on the big engine. And that's expensive oil. I bought the oil there, I bought a, a gallon more than I really needed to, but it was like 243 US dollars when I bought it there at the, at the Walmart just for the uh, truck engine's oil. They are, they are expensive. They are about, uh, at the Walmart here in the US I can get it for, uh, usually I believe it's $21.74 or something like that. $21.74 plus taxes. But you wouldn't believe how much it is in Canada. And in Canada, it's double the price. Usually, you you pay uh, about forty-six dollars a gallon up in Canada. Yeah, that's why I buy it here in the states because it's way cheaper. Way cheaper. A regular gallon of oil costs in Canada about nineteen bucks. So I can get this oil here in the U.S. for two dollars more, pretty much and what I can get regular oil per gallon in Canada, you know. But that's 
that's the way it is. I mean, you gotta count the exchange rate in there too, so it's probably a little bit more than that, but whatever, you know, that's just the way it is. But anyways, let's get down to Fargo, and uh, I'll probably have me a bite to eat over there, get breakfast done, and uh, pick up my parts there at Thermal King, and then uh, we'll make our way to Winnipeg. Looks like we should be in Winnipeg there pretty early. Should probably be in Winnipeg by 2 o'clock this afternoon. Alrighty guys, here we go. Oh moly, I got a red light. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop. Well, we got the Flying J right up here to the right. The Loves is to the left. We just gotta go to the next stoplight and right there at the corner, that's where Thermo King is, so. We'll be going to Thermo King there in a second and uh, pick up our parts. Come on, light, let's go. I want to get out of here. <laughs> it's always got to take a long time whenever you want to go, right? <laughs> yeah, well, there it goes. Now it's yellow. At the other side there, so here we go. That didn't take too long. Our satellite lights have been taking way longer than that. Oh yeah, now you can probably see the flying jet a little bit better. But... Yes siree. Right here at the corner. Oh, looks like they are open, so that's good. That way we can get our parts that I wanted. Gotta get into their yard and then pick up the parts. There we go. And pull her in over here and we'll get our parts. Anyways, anyways guys, we'll be right back. Here we go guys, we took care of business. Oh yeah, we got ourselves all the uh, oil filters, diesel filters and everything. And uh, I talked to them about why my APU unit was giving me problems the other day, why I didn't want to run. And I found out why. Yes, these guys told me what to look for. And I went and looked and sure enough, that was the problem. So what happened was, uh, it's got a black box where all the computer is in and all that, and it's got fuses in there. And the uh, fan fuse was burned out for the actual APU unit. Not for the air conditioning, but for the APU unit. The uh, the fan fuse was burned out, so the fan wasn't, wasn't turning to cool down the motor. So that's why it was shutting down the other day, so so now we know, yeah. So, now we got that taken care of, now we're going to put the hammer down towards Winnipeg. Oh yeah, 238 miles to go to Winnipeg. Yeah, it should be there about 2 o'clock I would say, considering the crossing the border yet and everything, that could slow down a little bit. GPS says 1.30, but I said 2 o'clock, so whatever, that's the way it is. So let's get down the road and uh, have ourselves an awesome day. Alrighty guys, we have just entered uh, into Manitoba. We are officially in Manitoba. The scale was open and uh, I was going to try and film it, but uh, my remote wouldn't work on the... One camera there, so we had to stop there at the scale and fix that before we could uh, start recording again, I guess. But, uh, anyways, we're only about 127 kilometers away from Winnipeg. It's about an hour and a half drive, and we will be in Winnipeg. So it's 12.06 right now, central time, and it looks like a gorgeous day out here. So, perfect time to go camping, right? Yep. At least that's the way it looks like right now, so. 
Anyways, we'll get the hammer, we'll put the hammer down and get down to Winnipeg. Here we go guys, we are going home right now. Just dropped my trailer here in Winnipeg. And uh, well, basically did a trailer switch up here. Picked me up uh, another trailer that the uh, want me to bring down to Steinbach. It's just an empty one. I guess they need the empty one in Steinbach, so we'll take it to Steinbach, no problem. No problem. We'll do that for them. Now that I just try and get out of Winnipeg before the traffic is too terrible. That's always a challenge. But we'll get it done. We'll get it done. Oh yeah, no problem, right? Anyways, let's get out of Winnipeg and uh, go home. Here we are back in Steinbach. We just finished dropping our trailer here at the yard. So now we are Bob Tilling home. Home sweet home. Yes, sir. I think what I'm going to do is uh, take my stuff out and then uh, probably going to go wash the truck and then uh, take it over to my shop mechanic there and can have it they're ready sitting there for tomorrow morning alrighty guys I am home I just replaced this uh, fan here that that goes right there the back of the AC condenser so we're gonna try it out and see if it will work now this one was uh, really hard to turn already it's really noisy when that uh, when it's turning so that's climb up here and see if this uh, this thing will work AC should be uh, kicking in here pretty soon so let's give this a try there it goes oh. now that is much quieter than the other one was oh yeah that sounds really good I'm happy with that oh yeah good job look at this car right here to the left that's a pretty cool looking car isn't it yep we're gonna go to the shell up here and we're gonna wash the truck yeah just finished putting the fan on the back there now we are ready to go with that part I'm just gonna go and try and sneak through here somehow to the back oh, look at that voila the bay is right there open for me that's where we're gonna go, right there in that big bay there. Nobody in there, that's the way we like it. Yep. Because that way we uh, get in there right away and we can take care of business. Yeah, this is just a shithole right here in the back. <laughs> Trying to get in there. Oh well, we'll get in there. We'll get in there. in there and then we'll uh, wash the truck and uh, take it over to the shop and then there we go it's ready there for them tomorrow morning yep anyways we'll go wash the truck in here and then uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit behind me that day is gonna 